politics. <laughs> It's an honour, as other people have said, um, to speak here. And thank you to all the speakers and all the ancestors and spiritual beings who have, who have been with us and are inspiring us today. And thank you for allowing us to join your beautiful community. I'd like to speak just briefly about Communo UK and our inspirations for this project, which is very new. The Templar qualities are courage in the face of untold difficulties, a balance between the spiritual and earthly aspects of life, and a determination to do what is necessary. What we believe today is needed is loving, powerful action. Stuart, my partner, and myself are both health practitioners and yogis and the well-being of our beloved Mother Earth is as important to us as our own health and well-being. We decided to make a walk, a pilgrimage, from Coombe Martin, where we live, to Glastonbury, linking holy sites along the way, many of which have been referred to in the last, couple, in the last day. We visited uh, Sisters Fountain, uh, St. Agnes Fountain and St. Catherine's Fountain on Bossington Hill and we linked and prayed and meditated on our journey and it was very inspiring for both of us. This journey was inspired by the journey that Jesus and Joseph of Arimathea would have taken by coast from the tin mines of Cornwall to the silver mines of Coombe Martin and then on to the Vale of Avalon, Glastonbury. And we were inspired to do this from our understanding of the Camino Santiago de Compostela, which is exponentially increasing in interest. Many people of all faiths and beliefs are walking this Camino and we felt living in the beautiful part of North Devon that we live, that we have all the history, all the sacred sites, and the beautiful paths to create our own UK Camino, which can be as well walked and as well funded as the Camino Santiago, which is backed by the government and receives government funding. And uh, if you're asked to be a pilgrimage house, you become a pilgrimage house. So, we believe that the visits of this great holy family, Joseph of Arimathea and Jesus, need to be recognised much more now and to be honoured. As young children, Stuart and I were both in love with the land in our own ways, as Peter inspired us yesterday. I failed that love for the land throughout my whole life. Brought up in a water mill in Kent, surrounded by beauty of nature. So it's not surprising that we ended up choosing as our teacher an enlightened master of yoga, George King, who is little understood and little, un and little known, whose whole life was dedicated in service to the Mother Earth and to give a, a token energy repayment to her and to the nature spirits, the Devic Kingdom, for the work that they do on our behalf. For 10 years, he did a day job. For those 10 years, at the same time, he practiced yoga for eight to 10 hours a day. And like St. Teresa, he developed the powers to levitate. And with the power of his praying, he flew around the room. He put aside these yogic powers or siddhis. He did not let them distract him from his main task, which was to dedicate himself 
to service of mankind and the Mother Earth. As he could raise his Kundalini energy at will through his chakras up to his crown center above the top of the head, he became like an antenna, an aerial, which cosmic beings or angels or whoever, however you would like to term them, interplanetary beings could see. And they started to contact him and to communicate with him. He was as surprised about this as any of us would be in this situation. But he heeded and recorded their messages. He drew a small number of followers to his side and started to cooperate with them and to carry out their instructions, which led to many missions, the theme of which was to give energy to the Mother Earth and to the Diva Kingdom of the Nature Spirits. It led him to make a pilgrimage around the world, acting as a channel to charge up to 18 mountains with potent love energy, which can be used as Aquarian beacons of light to radiate this energy out to the people of our suffering world. This mission he called Operation Starlight. We have this book about this mission at the back. Mm -hmm. This mission was funded by his talks and media coverage as he went around the world, as he had been asked previously to renounce all his possessions in true yogic fashion to embody the principles of love and courage to step forward, trusting totally in the power of the divine to guide and protect him. He embodied the Aquarian warrior spirit. He was an action man and a superhero on behalf of mankind, playing similar roles to certain Hollywood stars at the time, but in his case, unheralded on earth, unrecognized with an Oscar, totally supported by his interplanetary guides, who used every opportunity through his mediumship and radionic equipment which he developed to channel down as much light and love to mankind as possible. We are lucky enough to live only 15 minutes drive from the most accessible of these holy mountains charged in his Operation Starlight, Holston Down on Exmoor, charged on the 23rd of July, 1958, a much visited center of pilgrimage. We would like to encourage as many people to pray, meditate and visit this mountain as possible. This was our reason for setting up Camino UK, as we were already acting as a pilgrimage base for visitors for this and other sacred sites in our area. Our vision of Camino UK is, it that, is that it will also encourage everyone in the UK to walk for peace so that we can reactivate the old pilgrim paths so that we can create new pilgrim paths demonstrating so that the wisdom of the land and the mother earth will be honored as they once were demonstrating with our feet and our hearts how we would like to live in England's green and pleasant land, as the poet and mystic Blake in his beautiful verses of Jerusalem demonstrated. How we would like to live in peace with our brothers in our neighboring countries and around the world. As a celebration for the workers for peace throughout the centuries, on whose shoulders we stand. We thought it would be great if we could sing together Jerusalem 
which embodies the aims that we have for Camino UK. I'll just ask Stuart to come and help me start, start this off. If you can join in, because not a, usually, I don't usually sing in front of this many people. Could you move to this song? And with those streets in ancient times, walk upon endless mountains green, and was the